I've been asked many times to do video games. I always felt like this doesn't look like me. I mean, this is not my face. So I always stayed away from that if it is not my likeness or if it doesn't do the movie justice. I did have a thought that they would probably make a video game. I would be the uh, predator since I am the bad guy in the film. There's so many corners and recesses of the Terminator mythology that you can explore. And a movie lets you explore a certain number of them, but you only have two hours in a movie. In a video game, you have as much time as you want to spend. It allows you to explore all the areas and aspects of the story that you yourself might be interested in. I think a lot of video games that are done that are based on movies might not use a lot of the scenes from the movies, a lot of the characters. In this, it's sort of a continuation of the movie. In order to be different, I think it, it is about the quality, it's about the playability, it's about the story, it's about the characters. And I think we've given them the kind of ammunition that allows that to happen. What we all wanted out of it is to try to be as faithful to the story of the film after a certain point. And then you give them, you know, the flexibility to go and explore things that are maybe mentioned in the movie. The wonderful thing is that the gaming industry and the movie industry, especially the science fiction, fantasy and horror movie industry genre, the audiences are the same. In today's world, the mind of the kid who loves this type of movie loves games. What happens with a lot of these video games is that the companies just sort of piggyback onto the movie and they release a video game that has the title of the movie and some visual content of it, but basically is just sort of an afterthought. And what's great about what Atari and Black Ops did in the case of Terminator 3 is early on we said, you know, we're going to do a video game. We want to make it a world-class video game. We share all of our design tools everything that we use, all of our characters, full-size puppets, full-size animatronics, and information from our digital designs uh, with anyone who needs it, be it houses that are going to create the digital effects, or in a case like this, the gaming division. The backgrounds, the sets, all of the things that, that help make the movie will help make the video game even better. We worked really very closely with the video game developers to make sure that the game was a full experience of seeing the movie and not just some sort of afterthought that a video game company was dumping out in the marketplace. John Connor, it is time. We did actually shoot one scene if we wanted to put in the video game. It makes the game even more real than a game, you know, it makes it like movie plus. It's a scene that helps the audience understand how the Terminator came to be. Hi, I'm Chief Master Sergeant William Candy. Why is Terminator always coming back from the future with the same body, with the same accent, the same look? It clears up the mystery about the mythology of the Terminator, about how this machine became the machine and why it looks like Arnold. It is now within our power to make war safe. And that is truly priceless. I don't know about that accent. We can fix it. TX is the latest, most sophisticated cyborg model. Obviously, she's a woman, so she's got some new powers and traits and definitely plays upon her femininity to achieve her goals. She is equipped with all kinds of weapons that she can produce from out of her body. It makes her a very fierce competitor and a much more sophisticated Terminator, I would say. The design of the TX was probably our most important job on Terminator 3. She had to be stronger than Arnold, more advanced than Arnold, and fit under the skin of Kristana Loken. The TX is more powerful, is stronger, is faster, has more capabilities. Oh my god! Frankly, you're kind of outmatched, so it's pretty tricky how you manage to get around the obstacles that she throws at you during the game. It's beyond me that it took us three movies to realize that the baddest of all Terminators is going to be a female. She's definitely got a uh, few tricks up her sleeve. You have storylines that are occurring in the future, storylines that occur in the present, storylines in the past. For a movie, it's very hard to bounce around between all those different time frames. But the great thing about a video game is you can explore all those different dimensions. So the thing that had me really excited about the video game is that here's a chance for us to explore all these different timelines in a parallel format. And I think that's incredibly exciting, simply from a storytelling point of view. Of course, it makes for a great game as well. But it's a wonderful companion with the movie itself. The game's basic premise in general is we're actually mirroring the movie in addition to adding some sequences that are normally off-screen or 
away from the movie. You'll be able to basically get uh, the full feel of what it's like to be in that future post-Holocaust nuclear war with the Skynet sort of dominating the skies and, and in the communication systems, things like that. This is the first time on the video games that we actually integrate uh, the classic first-person shooter uh, gameplay with the hand-to-hand -hand combat. We will actually have full game levels and full environments in which you are playing Arnold in a first-person shooting mode where you are utilizing multiple weapons to complete various objectives but then in specific encounters you actually jump into the role where the camera switches from a first person view and swings out to a third person perspective and you're actually fighting the TX and you're using hand to hand combat moves it's like a mini fighting game where you get to pick the TX up and hurl her into a wall and break something you actually get to pick up a rocket launcher. You get to pick up a phase plasma rifle. You get to fight all the forces of Skynet that you've never been able to do before. With the hand-to-hand -hand combat, we basically have really been able to sort of follow certain scenes in the movie that are really kind of thrilling, where there's these fights between Arnold and the TX. We got uh, some of the best guys in Hollywood, the stunt guys, these smash kit guys, put these guys on wires, and we're able to simulate what it would be like to be a Terminator and take a, another big infiltrator Terminator, pick him up in the air, and then throw him into a wall with all that weight and force. Arnold is a Terminator, and the TX is a Terminator. They do not know kung fu. They fight like a machine would fight. Rigid, bashing maneuvers, shoves, grabs, throws, etc. If you play the game, it makes you more interested in seeing the movie. And if you see the movie, it makes the game a much richer experience to play. I think that the video game adds a lot to the mythology of the Terminator. Video games have become so advanced. The kid that's playing it is watching the movie and operating their own characters within the movie. So I think it's become so realistic and so enticing. It's like watching the movie that you can control. I'm a gamer. I love playing games, and I'm always looking for the new one. I can't wait to play as much, get as much play time as I can on T3 the game. I love the way uh, in my image looks, the way the Terminator looks, and also it does justice to the movie. All these graphics are like just so realistic. All the faces look just like real life. It's pretty amazing. The best way to describe it would be like two bulldozers just going at it. Just sheer force, sheer strength. None of that Hong Kong booey sh**. Just, just brutal force. It is fantastic. It looks great and everyone will enjoy it.